Diode LEDs, Touch Dial LED Control System. Answering the call for simplified and complete lighting controls to color changing and single color LEDs. Let's start with the basics and make sure we have all the components needed to complete a system. The touch dial system is modular in every way, the main component being the touch dial receiver. From here, you can select either the 5 zone dimmer or the 4 zone RGBW remote. Both remotes are paired the same way, so for today, we will focus on the 4 zone RGBW remote for our example. Lastly, our LED lights, constant voltage power supply, and being that this example uses a plug-in adapter, we will need a female adapter splice cable to complete our installation. To begin, make sure to read, review, and understand all instructions that come with the touch dial receiver as well as the RGBW Ford Zone remote control. To begin, open the lids of the touch dial receiver. Notice, you don't require any tools to perform this task. Insert the color-coded wires of the RGB or RGBW tape light into the right side of the touch dial receiver. Remember, tools are not required to do this. However, if you are having trouble, use a pen or, in our case, a flathead screwdriver to carefully press down on the tabs while inserting the wires. Repeat the same process for your power input. In this case, we'll be using the female adapter splice cable, and remember, the power input is on the same side as the RGB and RGBW wire connections. Locate the learning key and the jumper just above it. Check to make sure the jumper is only applied to one header pin. If it is not, move the jumper using your fingers or needle nose pliers. If the jumper is not present, please contact Diode LED customer service. With your touch dial receiver powered and ready to go, grab the 4-zone RGBW remote control and insert the three AAA batteries on the back side. Press the power button on the surface of the remote and make sure the indicator light is on at the top right hand corner. Locate the learning key found on the left side of the touch dial receiver. Press and release the button. Immediately press a zone number on the remote control followed by a quick swipe of the color wheel. The light should flash briefly and your touch dial receiver will respond to the remote control. Remember, if you have another touch dial receiver and would like to expand the zone with more light, simply repeat the process with the other receiver. If you have originally paired two or more receivers on the same zone and plan on changing a receiver's zone identification, you must reset one of the receivers before performing the pairing process mentioned earlier. For example, if we have two receivers both paired to zone 1 and now want one of the receivers to operate as zone 2, we must first press and hold the learning key of the receiver until the lights begin to flash. This will reset the receiver and allow you to properly sync the receiver to another zone. This is also a good method if you're unsure of which receiver is paired to which zone and want to start over. With the touch dial receiver now assembled, paired, and synchronized, Let's go through some of the functions of the 4-zone RGBW remote control. Take a look at the instructions that were included with the touch dial remote control and turn to page 2. In the operations section, you'll find all the functions of the remote and their corresponding actions. Let's go through each one. Locate the zone control keys found just under the color wheel. Previously, we used these to synchronize our touch dial receivers to an appropriate zone and pair multiple receivers to a single zone for lighting expansion. By pressing and releasing the zone number key while following up with a command from the color wheel, you will begin controlling the zone specific receivers. Pressing and holding the zone number key will turn on the zone on or off. By pressing and releasing the zone keys in sequence from 1 through 4 or 4 through 1, and any combination in between, you will be able to control multiple zones simultaneously. Now, locate the RGB brightness controls found just below the zone keys. Pressing and holding the left key will dim your RGB LED lighting, while pressing and holding the right key will increase the brightness of the RGB LED lighting. This can only be used for solid color settings and does not apply when using the dynamic mode. We'll cover that portion in a little bit. The white preset key found on the right side just under the power key labeled W plus 
operates and simulates the RGB lighting in warm, cool, and neutral color temperatures. This is useful for those who are not utilizing an RGBW LED light. Please note that this is only a simulation and not a true representation of color temperatures. For true single color temperatures, please browse Diode LED's extensive product portfolio. At the bottom of the remote control, you'll find the save function keys labeled S1 to S3. The touch dial system features the ability to save three preset colors to quickly set moods and atmospheres. First, using the color wheel, dial in your favorite color settings. Once this is completed, press and hold any of the save keys. This should approximately take two seconds. Once the color is saved into the key, press and release the key to quickly activate the saved color. To test, scroll your finger around the color wheel, then press the S1, S2, or S3 key to retrieve your saved colors. The last and final feature for the touch dial 4 zone RGBW controller is going to be the dynamic mode. This button is found on the left side, just under the power button. This key is used to activate the pre-programmed color patterns. By pressing and releasing the key, the touch dial system will go through its 10 available preset programs. Page two of the touch dial remote instructions will describe the patterns with a dynamic mode chart. By pressing and holding the key, it will adjust the speed of which the sequence operates. If you've gone too far past your ideal setting, simply release the key and perform the press and hold operation again. This completes part one of our tutorial to the touch dial system. Please refer back to any time frame in the video for quick reviews. If you have additional questions or concerns, please reach out to the Diode LED's customer service and technical support teams. Please also check out part two of the touch dial tutorial as we go through the five zone single dimmer remote control.